what is up you guys welcome back to another video it is your boy J.I. the gamer here bringing you another video of call of duty modern warfare today i will be showing you guys how to have more than five custom loadouts on call of duty modern warfare as you can see right now you can only have five on previous call of duty it's always been a way to have up to 10 classes up to 10 custom loadouts on call of duty mode on, on any call of duty game uh basically the way they had it set up you prestige and every time you prestige you earn a token and after you get that token you're able to basically get another custom loadout so as you can see right now we only have five some people are actually upset that you can only have five but for some people that don't know they actually did this on purpose because it's actually a way to have even more than five classes on call of duty Modern Warfare. and today i'm going to be showing you guys a way to do that so so without further ado let get let's get into the video right here as you can see let's let's play with a kilo so for example on custom loadout number one i don't have none of these custom loadouts name i feel like i don't have to do that at this point why because because of this let me see so the kilo if you go to armory as you can see we got four different kilo set up right so we got a blueprint a modified weapon as you can see on the top left corner said modified weapon and then three modified weapons what does that mean modified weapon so when you go to gunsmith right here and you just add the attachments you're modifying a weapon when you modify a weapon uh, let me take this off and put let's put this one on the left top corner right under where it says attachment it says save a custom mod you click L2, you enter a name, kilo, let's put zero, 01. Click done. You can update. If you update a modification, you're substituting basically the custom class we already have, a, we already have saved right now. Not all three of them, but one of them. Wherever you're using at this moment, you, will, you basically substitute that. So, what we're going to do, we're going to create a new modification. So now it said this weapon has been saved to the weapon armory. So now you have created another custom class. So now you got one, two, three, four, five of the same weapon with different attachments. And what I'm what I mean by that is basically instead of having the loadout here where you can just easily switch it, you can just click on the weapon. Don't click on gunsmith, just click on the weapon, go to armory <clears throat> and pick whatever the the same weapon you have with different attachments so that's already one two three four five different custom classes of the same weapon so i don't see the point of having 10 custom loadouts here where you can have this many already on the same weapon with different attachments already set up you know what i'm saying so you can go ahead and pick one of these weapons already have this one have more range stability this one had this is for long distance this is for short distance this one's for running gun or whatever the case might be as you can see I, i'm going to show you guys the mp5 for example on custom loadout number two i got the mp5 so if i click on custom uh gunsmith <clears throat> this is a weapon i have right here i can click save update the modification but I already have it right so if you click on the gun and then after that it's going to take it to a new screen where it's armory and I got three setups of the mp5 so I got the mp5 set out with different attachments for different maps for different reasons so this is the best way and the easiest way and I think the only way basically to have more than five different custom loadouts so a lot of people been asking me on YouTube and some of my friends asking me, how can you have more than five custom loadouts? You guys, it's very simple. The M4, if you want to have five different classes of the M4 with different attachment, this is all you have to do. For example, right here, I click on the M4. I, already, I have six different classes of the M4. Now, obviously, you're not going to bring this. Now, this is a whole completely loadout. If you if you're trying to basically save the whole loadout with the perks and lethals and tactical you guys that's not even important switching the perks so every time you switch a loadout i know i'm going too fast i apologize for that so let me switch to a different m4 let me switch to silencer what does it matter about the secondary it's simple right 
if you have another weapon already set up for you secondary on that then do the same thing choose that weapon that you already have it set up and then if you have a different perks on, on the perk number two then just go ahead and switch it it's not going to take very long now i understand you can't have you can't have like the whole class set up where it comes to the perks lethal and tactical secondary but being able to have an option to select a different class already built with different attachments on that weapon i mean that's huge that's basically the same thing as having more than five custom loadouts all you have to do is switch it and i'm going to show you guys another way you could do this well not another way but if you jump into a match and you already playing every time you die and you're like okay man i wish i had a weapon set out with different class different attachments and you don't want to do that in the middle of the map do the same thing select on the weapon click on uh for example kilo and that's it and if you want to change your secondary go ahead and change it like it's super simple you guys this is a way to have more than five custom classes you guys i mean it's pretty simple i hope this video helped you guys man let me show you guys another thing right here let me let me jump into a match go ahead and do that and i'll show you guys so you can do the same thing while you're playing though I understand like on previous Call of Duty they had what up to 10 custom classes it was up to 10 but you had a prestige and every time you prestige you only earn one more and then you had six custom loadouts and then you had seven after that but you had to reach what level 55 just to get another custom loadout now you don't got to do that you can just go to gunsmith save your modifications save it and that's already that's already a custom class right there that you already created very simple though I understand like the new players they still have not been able to figure this out but I'm pretty sure that most of the people that have been playing this game for a long time they already know what I'm talking about alright so I'm gonna go ahead and choose the mp5 so right now I'm playing with mp5 look at this guy right here I know he's trolling so I got an MP5. If I want to switch between one of these classes, yeah, you can do that. But if you go to edit, click on this weapon, click on armory, and you'll be like, okay, I want to play with this MP5 now. Do that. You die. Switch your spawn. Bam. Already a different loadout. Oh, well, I want to have a different secondary. Well, just go ahead and switch it. Switch your attachments, switch your perks, and that's it. And you can do that in the middle of a match, you guys. You don't have to leave the match to do that. Enemy at the restaurant. I have the same class set up for different uh, with different attachments. So the M4, for example, click on the weapon. I have different M4s right here. So like this one. I would say it's a running gun, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch this one. Got this secondary. I don't want to use overkill. Right? I want to use double time. There you go. Switch it. Takes seconds, you guys. Literally seconds. Ah, he killed me. Another thing I want to show you guys is if you are worrying about losing your attachments because if you have five custom loadouts here and you switch this to this weapon and then you switch this one to the peak 90 and now all of a sudden you already forgot what you had on custom loadout number one, custom loadout number two because you don't have 10 custom loadouts because that's what we have on previous Call of Duty. But like I said, everything is safe you guys. As long as you modify your weapon uh, um, the way I showed you guys early you can always go back and switch this to whatever you had before so like I say it's, it's, it's like having infinity custom loadouts like this right here is so simple it's, it's better than what they had on previous Call of Duty because you can have so many custom loadouts so many custom classes the perks 
Litton tactical that's easy to like that's easy to swap you know what I'm saying if if you create a custom loadout and, and you like okay what I had in for here was well, just go ahead and switch it's not gonna take very long to switch it same thing with the perks that's easy to switch the most important thing about the loadout is technically the primary weapon sometimes the secondary weapon and like I said the perks are easy to switch so like I say loadout number one you're like okay I had an M4 what attachments did I have on it well just go to the M4 click on the, the weapon click where it says armory and select whatever M4 you have already set up with different attachments you don't have to select an info with no attachments and then worry about like oh man i forgot which attachments i have this weapon no select the m4 with the attachments oh custom loadout well i just changed the perks i had different perks in here well go ahead and select the perks it's, it's, you might not remember i actually remember i don't know about everybody else but it's easy oh i had uh this same thing right here oh i had smoke grenade it's easy. You, you, I mean, the primary weapon is mainly the, is, is the main thing. Number two, I have the kilo, right? So just go to the kilo, select the weapon. Uh, let me see which kilo I was using. I'm pretty sure I was using this kilo. It already had all the attachments already set up. You don't have to worry about what attachments you had in there. Oh, I want to change the custom loadout with something else in there. Like, yeah, you can go ahead and do that. You can go ahead and hide M4 here. Ha, another M4 with different attachments. Now you got two M4s. Have another M4 here. So now you got three M4s with different attachments. Or you can, it's loadout, you can put like different uh, loaders or whatever, but you can always change it at any time or any minute. You know what I'm saying? Everything is already safe. Kilo. I already know what the kilo looks like because I've been using it. This one I uh, had a sniper, so obviously I gotta put overkill. It's my sniper rifle, and that's it. It's it's so simple, you guys. It's really simple, so you don't have to worry about losing your loadout. Because you can change it at any time already with attachments set up in there. All your attachments are already safe. Literally, everything is safe. MP5. So I have the MP5 here. So like I said, if you guys weren't about forgetting what attachments you have on the weapon, as long as you click on your weapon, you customize it, you modify the weapon, and you save it, then you can go ahead and switch it and select a different loadout. But like I say, this is basically the same thing as having more than five custom loadouts, you guys. Right now we say I have five, when technically, if you click on the kilo, that's already three four five more loadouts right there with different attachment different weapons and like i say when it comes to secondary perks and uh lethal and tactical i mean that's easy you guys like that takes seconds just to switch it you know what i'm saying you just click a button you switch it uh if you think you have this set up on the on the class you was just using the perks is easy the same way you can just change it uh it's not going to mess out the main thing is the primary weapon uh secondary weapon as well but anyway make sure you guys subscribe hit that notification bell so y'all can get my future video at the end of the video please drop a comment on the comment down below and i'll see you guys next time